What's up everybody? Welcome to Strengthening Yoga with your boy Hemp. Today's video is going to be sponsored by One Raw Yoga Studios. Y'all come check her out in Sanford, Florida. She offers all different types of yoga classes. Today, we are going to be focused on the headstand pose. Um, I must warn you that if this is your first time trying headstand pose, the best way to try it is with props and with a person that is there to instruct you and help you out because it is going to be the safest way to practice. However, if you don't have that as an option, this video is for you. This first stretch is just going to be for the neck. You want to take your hand to the opposite shoulder and don't pull down on the neck. Just allow your hand to be a weight, adding a little bit of an extra stretch as you take the opposite ear to its shoulder. Let's start warming the body up. Bring your right forearm down to your right side, left hand up and over the ear. Important part of this stretch is keeping the chest open. Make sure that shoulder is high up and then press that hip down for a little bit of extra hip stretch. Just keep going from side to side. And if you don't have the flexibility to get your forearm down to the ground, you can use a block or a pillow or anything to help keep you stable and anything that you can get down to. It's not about flexibility, it's just about getting the side body woke and warm. Be ready for your head stings. Now that we got a little temperature in the body, let's get the shoulders involved as well. Bring your prayer to the center of your chest and you just want to press it up to the sky. You want to come up and down using the rhythm of your own breath. So inhale up and exhale down. Make sure that when you have your hands up that you're getting your biceps right next to your ears. So you're getting a good shoulder opener. You're going to be needing this shoulder strength later on in your headstand practice. Keep on going for reps and sets. You want to do about 10 to 12 reps, two to three sets. You don't want to burn out, but you do want to get warm. Last one, but before we really get started into working for that strength to have, our headstand is going to be a bridge pose. This bridge pose just makes sure you're on your back nice and flat and you're lifting up. Lift to the rhythm of your own breath, up and down, inhale and exhale. Make sure at the top of that bridge so you really press those hips all the way up as high as they can get. Hold for just a quick brief second and then lower it back down. The next few poses are going to be some good strengthening for working and holding that headstand. I would definitely start with plank pose. Plank pose is that full core strengthening all the way down the body though. So it's getting the legs involved, it's getting the back involved, it's getting those glutes involved. And that's what you're going to need to hold a nice headstand. Nice and stable headstand that is. Then after that plank, we're going to work this dolphin pose. I added a few variations here because just maybe you can't quite do the dolphin press up push up yet but you can work up to that with some of these that I offered here. Just start with the one that's most comfortable for you and then just keep building and you can get up to the next one. up to the next one. Once you're all the way at the top, you'll be just about ready for that full headstand. All right, let's get upside down and off the ground. First thing you want to do is you want to get your hands and your elbows down on the ground. You want to interlace your fingers, making a little pocket with your hand with your elbows going out in kind of a V shape. Now you wanna place the back of your head into those fingers and your top of your head right down on the ground. Now that your head is down, you wanna lift those knees up and start to work your hips over your head. Slowly tip your toes forward to get your hips over your head and then come back. As you get upside down, get comfortable with pressing those elbows down. Make sure you don't have all of your body weight into your head. This is a little too intense for you. 
feel free to bring your head up after you come back lower your knees back down and lifting your head up take a little break before going into your next rep just try this about four or five times if you're comfortable with that let's keep those hips over the head and start lifting the legs up straight legs all the way up this is going to build up a lot of core strength however the main purpose of doing this is just so you get comfortable the number one reason people fall out of their headstands is they panic when they get their legs up so you get to the point where you feel comfortable like this and once you get into that full headstand you'll just hold it and breathe all right let's try popping up a little bit keeping your knees bent is always going to be the easiest way to find balance so keeping one knee bent the other foot down supporting yourself let's give yourself a little pop getting your hips coming over the head engage your core see if you can hold it for a few seconds up and down a few reps you'll find your comfort level very soon if that's comfortable for you try some straight legs maybe get the leg up a little higher come up for a little bit more of a headstand If you're comfortable here, no need to hold back. Bring both legs up, engage that core, hold your head stand. Make sure and breathe, stay for a few seconds, come down gently, be safe in your practice. Congratulations on your first head stand. However, don't let your journey stop there. Continue to grow, continue to strengthen, and take it to the next level. See what all you can do with yourself. I'm sure you can do some amazing things if you just give it a try. Always come back better.